Hello ladies and gentlemen, Top Hat Gaming Man here. And as my channel grows, I feel it is part of my social responsibility as a content creator to help those smaller than myself continue to grow their channels. So I let the artist Mark Flynn interview me. Yes, so that's the video you'll be watching today. However, if you find yourself enjoying this channel and enjoying his sense of humour and wit, then I strongly urge you to subscribe to his channel. I'm a big fan myself. Anyway, roll the footage. Besides being poor, the life of a performance artist is truly rewarding. But it can also be quite lonely, which isn't very pleasant at all. For that reason, I'm meeting other creators from all over for nice heart-to-heart -heart conversations about their passions and interests. Today's guest is a true YouTube gaming villain with a channel that has drawn a lot of attention over the past few years. He's a man whose fashion sense matches his high-class dedication to the finest retro games in all of the land. He is a British YouTube mainstay. I'm the artist Mark Flynn, and this is Art to Art with the Top Hat Gaming Man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am the artist formerly known as Mark Flynn, performance artist, and this is episode two of Art to Art. Today I'm joined by the Top Hat Gaming Man. Hello ladies and gentlemen, that is correct. I am indeed the Top Hat Gaming Man. I play games and wear a top hat. What more can you ask for, really? I'm here basically visiting the Top Hat Gaming Man, seeing what he does. Uh, I've dressed suitably for the occasion. He's a retro gamer, so I I've am got a retro gamer. Bit of the Pokemon merch. I mean, been Pokemon. very Pokemon, yes. very topical on his channel recently. And he's even been generous enough to donate to me today a little fashion accessory of my own. Very nice. It looks very good, doesn't it? It does. So I'm really sorry. I'm going to stop a minute. My, I, you're going to stay. Hey, yeah. Hay fever. I don't know what's wrong with me. Hay fever. So I just need to blow my nose. Just start again. Technical difficulties. Sorry. It's alright. Well, an amazing collection here. Um, I guess, what got you into collecting in the first place? I've never really looked at myself as a collector. I've always liked to think of myself as more of a procurer of games. Because I've never gone out there to get as many games as possible. I'm just happy to be a big fan of them. So I have amassed a large selection over a period of time. Like, I want this game, I'll play this game, then this game. So I've just played loads and ended up with loads almost accidentally, more than anything else. Well, it's in incredibly impressive. I mean, on, on the shelf back here alone, uh, you've probably got uh, 20 times the numbers in my savings account. Because being a performance artist, it, it can, can be quite hard to make a living. Well, it, it depends really. I've had months on YouTube recently where I've turned over a thousand pounds. Wow. You can, you, there's money out there to be made. Yeah, what? Not, not quite £1,000 in my remit. Not, not yet? No, a little bit off. Okay, just uh, put out more clickbait. It always works for me. Also boobs as well. Put boobs, boobs, boobs. In thumbnails. Tried boobs before, it di didn't work out, but I guess they were my boobs, so okay. probably, probably stuck. What was it that made you want to be on YouTube in the first place? Money. Money? Yes, lots of money. Basically, I saw lots of people on YouTube um, doing a far worse job than I could have possibly done before I'd started. So I just saw I saw their videos. So these videos are a bit rubbish. I'd like their money. So that, that's pretty. That was pretty much my thinking behind everything. What would you say to the people who have compared you to the angry video game nerd? Ill-informed. Ill-informed. I've got taste. Taste. Start, yes. He craps on a lot of stuff which um, deserves praise. Like fantastic systems like um, the real 3VO and um, the Philips CDI and the Sega 32X, yet other bad systems like the Nintendo 64, he doesn't crap on. Who is your favourite YouTuber? My favourite YouTuber? Am I allowed to say myself? I if mean, not, I would say probably um, the artist Mark Flynn. Ah, oh, that's quite good. Last, last time I interviewed, I actually had to prompt to get that response from my guests, so it's good to see. Good to see. Awareness. Awareness, yeah. So why, why, why the artist Mark Flynn, as you've answered that? 
He just seems to try really hard, and I like that. Good thank quality. Thank you, thank you. That's, that's great to hear. Good to have a fan. Uh, besides the artist Mark Flynn, who would you say? Well, obviously yourself, um, but third, third pick. Hour of Poop. Hour Fantastic, of poop. yes. That sounds very good. Maybe oh. you should put some clips of their channel. I'll make, make sure to. You're under arrest. Wallace. Not even Wensley Dale. The Senate will decide your fate. Everybody knows I'm the soothe. Not yet. There's no use prevaricating about the bush. <laughs> Patrons of theirs, but they donate their money. Oh, do you? Mm. Wow, a, a very good giving man. I am. As a side. Philanthropist. Giving me this hat and also donating to poop. What, what more could you mm. want? Um, smells great too. Also, popular culture, favourite films? Um, Star Wars Episode 1, Phantom Menace, all time favourite. Of course, I may have to cut that one out because that might get us some dislikes, but. Why? It's amazing. Good soundtrack. Any other inspirations you look up to? Uh, public figures or anything? I mean, Michael Ainsley we... Harriet, yes, he has great memes. Um, I've always looked at Margaret Thatcher as somewhat of an inspiration to myself. Close the minds. Powerful woman. That was an answer. Um, okay, well, what does, what does the top hat gaming man do when he isn't gaming and he is just out in the world? Travelling the world. Travelling the world. Went across five different continents last year. Yes, making content, and that was the the handhelds around the world. Indeed, yes. Very cool. Very, very cultured cool. man. Give it another year. I'd like to do another year around the world okay. if I can. So you've been hit quite badly by the recent changes to the YouTube I have. algorithm, it's haven't you? Ridiculous. It's as if a hurricane. As um, if if YouTube, if my house was on YouTube, my house has been hit by that hurricane that's gone through, yeah. annihilated to certain. Well, if it continues to go that way, maybe you will be in a similar boat to me as a, a as a performance artist, and maybe this hat on your head will be for buskers and street performance. And uh, but will it? I've got like twenty five thousand subscribers, so um, as long as I pitch it right, maybe I can get them to fund the channel. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But you might be joining me on the streets, so no, we'll no, see. No. One thing I like to do on these shows is I like to challenge my guests towards the go end. Go for it, go for it. So on my last episode I had Holly the Illustrator and she drew a picture of me in two minutes and it was absolutely beautiful. But this time around I would like to give you two minutes to find two items from your collection. I'm going to do it as well. But find two items from your massive gaming collection, whether it's figurines, video games, anything, and bring me two items that remind you, or in some way conceptually, you can see the artist Mark Flynn in them. Okay, yes. Um, I'll find something. Okay, well, your time starts now, so Excellent. Now? Two items in this room that stuck out to me as um, being very the artist Mark Flynn. Uh, the first one was this amiibo. Um, uh, it is the the villager from Super Smash Brothers or Animal Crossing. I'm having a little bit of a bad hair day today. I'm not my usual style, and to be completely honest. There is some resemblance. There's some resemblance there, isn't there? So that's why I, I saw my youth in, in this in this figurine. What about his actual t-shirt he's got on? Number one. Um, number one. Uh, that's kind of kind of me. And in one subscriber. One one subscriber, yes. Um, one a day. One a day, um, if, if only it was that. Second one, um, a figurine of... Um, Bob Hoskins. Bob Hoskins as Super Mario. So there he is for everyone. In there. So, rest in peace Bob Hoskins for starters, but I loved this film growing up and what I saw when I looked at this was a very 
underappreciated movie. And uh, uh, Bob Hoskins is a great British um, performance artist as well. Great British performance artist, so I saw a lot of myself in here. Uh, the film was underappreciated, uh, much like my YouTube channel, which still has yet to hit 150 subscribers. Uh, so the Super Mario Brothers live action movie has been panned. I personally loved it. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. So yeah, that's me. Uh, what, what did you find? I found two things. Firstly, um, deluxe paint free from the Amiga because nice. artists use paint. Yep. And that's about it, I suppose. Look side. It's very, um, very boring format, which I've been criticised. Bit size four in the past as well, so there's definitely some of me in there. Not even looked in here before. Most people haven't looked at my channel. It's got so hidden notes. It actually has. Do <laughs> any of those relate to you? Um, so there's some shortcuts in how to use the program in here. Um, if you press X, you can do a mirror image. Um, I've been told I'm a mirror image of Daniel Radcliffe, so I guess that's relevant. Sure. Cool, well that's a good first one. And what was the second choice? Uh, this Japanese exclusive made by Treasure for Nintendo 64, Bangoi O. And um, basically this game um, sold very, very, very badly. Um, no one cared about it and nobody bought it. But it's decent-ish, good content there. It says good content but just nobody cares, which kind of reminds me a little bit of your channel. So, do you agree? Yeah, I mean it hits a little bit, little bit close to home, but um, yeah, I guess I agree. Great. So an underrated classic, in a way. In a way. There's a better version on the Dreamcast, but so is, is there a better version of the artist formerly known as Mark Twain out there as well? But it's Daniel Radcliffe, isn't there? Yeah, he gets right. bookings. Yeah, he does get bookings. I've been the artist formerly known as Mark Flynn. Um, you can see more videos like this on my channel if you if you like them. Uh, and I've been with the Top Hat Gaming Man. And where can they find you? They can find me on the YouTube channel, Top Hat Gaming Man. Top Hat Gaming Man, and also Top on... Hat Chat, which is my discussion channel. And that's also on Twitch as well, isn't it? On Twitch and YouTube, yes. Well, lovely. Well, thank you very much, Top Hat Gaming Man. Thank it's you. been a pleasure. Thank you for your hospitality, and I've learned some brutal, brutal truths about myself today. Yes, you, you can rebuild. You can rebuild. Rebuild. Yes. Um, can I go blow my nose again? You can. Um, I'm hoping one day my retro collection will be as impressive as this. Currently, it's all in a shoebox. You won't. They're too expensive now. Oh, cheers.